So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video and today I showcase to you guys what's probably the best farm in this game for higher level players. It will see you earning what people are saying easily over a million runes per hour and today I showcase to you exactly what you need to do here, how you get here as well. Absolutely everything guys. How's it going people? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video leaving a like it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. Okay so a new farm has been found and I want to say credit to Spectrum on my discord who actually sent me this about four or five days ago i just haven't been high enough to actually get here and that's a problem with this a lot of these farm videos i'm seeing people are saying yeah, it's by far the best you need to get here and do this but for a lot of players you won't be able to get here because it's quite hard to do so and i'll explain all in a second but the farm itself it's basically you spawn in at a gray uh, grace point you come down on this tree uh, you kill that thing in front of you there you pull out your horse you kill this thing in front of you up here just like so and I'll show you how I do it. I've, I do it with my sword. I've killed this guy with my sword. There we go. Then I lock down to this dude here and kill him with my uh, Kamit Azur. Because he ain't really got no answer for it. And then what you can do then is, obviously if you use too much of your Cerulean Tears, go around this way. People do this on the horse as well. I ain't quite that confident on the horse because I'd fall off. And then there's a guy up here who you can either shoot with your Cerulean Tears, range weapon, bow, whatever. Or you can use your sword, you can jump onto the platform and kill him with a sword or whatever, melee weapon, don't matter. Then guys, you simply jump down onto this grace. You sit down, stand back up. And they've all respawned back again for you to do it. Now you get, if you use the Golden Scarab, which is a talisman, you get over 4,000 per one you kill. Now, if you haven't got this already, you'll find it linked down below. It's a must get, people. A must get. There's also these you can use as well, which I've only had a few of, which give you an extra 15 or 20% runes for about three minutes. So you can use them as well. There's also another one of these ads down here, but it is a little bit further down. You have to go up, you can't, probably can't see it. Just over that, just past that guy. There's a branch there, two enemies on. Um, it's just beyond that, uh, but when you get down there, it's a bit of a pain in the ass. It means you have to fast travel back up here uh, instead of running back up here because you, and you lose efficiency in my opinion. So it's better just doing it the way I'm doing it. Spawn there, kill these two, run around, kill the one up there, jump back down, respawn or reset. Simple as that. And you will earn, like I said, I earn 12. I can earn about 12,000 every 30 seconds or so, which is quite a lot. Quite a lot. Problem is getting here. Now it's located right here across the routes, which is a part of the underground, which you only get access to once you defeat one of the major story bosses in Radan. You kill him, you have to come here for a uh, height west. Uh, you travel to the underground, you have to come all the way around here, you have to kill a mimic boss, which is easy, fair enough. He is quite easy, but then guys, you have to take out a gargoyle. No, is it a gargoyle? Uh, is it twin gargoyles? Could be the twin gargoyles. I'm not, I can't, yeah, I think it is. They are a pain in the ass. They are a pain in the ass. Now for higher, higher levels, it's going to be quite easy. But I was about 100 at the time, 120 at the time. My build's all over the place, by the way. Uh, I went melee build and then I switched to a bit of magic because I come as a... Uh, so I need to respect really and do it all out. So you could probably do this a lot lower level than what I struggled at. But either way, the gargoyle bosses are a pain in the ass. But once you do them, you then have to use a coffin to teleport yourself to up here. And then you run there. And I'm going to showcase it all to you guys because it's just fair that I do that. So firstly, again, you have to have defeated the Darn. Once you do him, you'll get the underworld open up. Open up so you'll have to come here. So we go here guys and I'll run here all the way for you. It's a bit of a trek but once you've got the grace point open you can come back whenever you want and earn easy uh, runes. Easy. Now like I said, a lot of people are saying this is over a million an hour. I mean if you're fast enough, it's definitely that. It's definitely that. Okay, so from the grace point, not going to lie, my horse has tripped over a peb and fell to its death. Don't know how that happened. But you'll see these beautiful rocks here guys. <laughs> Follow this path, I go. And you have to go, don't jump down there. I did, I, I, look where I died, it's ridiculous. I literally jumped 
off a pebble and my horse just collapsed. I ain't got a clue what's going on there, but either way, follow this, follow this path I'm going on. Right here, just be careful. Just be careful. Yep, guys, I did this. I did that. And somehow my horse just died. Well, actually, was it this way? Yeah, it was. My bad. I jumped straight down. <laughs> I avoided this point. I jumped straight onto this point. So, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> okay, so I jumped down here. And there we go. Now you have to get off your horse. And now you have to run. Now you have to run. Like I said, it's quite a trick. It's probably going to take about three or four minutes. Here, you just want to jump down here. Be careful, though. Don't go too far. Again, here, you can jump down onto a platform there. And then we are good. And then we are good. This way, guys, we go here. Jump onto this roof. Follow these rooftops. Now, ignore these Datto wannabe. Not Datto. Datto. Ditto. Datto. Destiny YouTuber. Ditto. You know, Ditto Pokemon. These things that mimic all sorts. Yep, that's them. That's them. Ignore them, people. Yeah, whoa, that shit just shaved me. Ignore, well, you can get that if you want to. But either way, come this way. There's going to be probably a quite a few collectibles you ain't going to want to be missing uh, along this way. So yeah, you can stop and grab them if you want. Jump across here. Then we have to jump down there. So be careful here. Just like so. And now we run this way. Now we run this way, people. So come down here, activate that grace point, obviously. Ain't gonna let me see what it is, never does. Uh, so you end up here, knock on Eternal City, and if you wanna run this way, sure. You can't pull out your horse throughout any of this until you get to the bridge, which is not too far away, to be honest. Not too far away. So you we are coming up to the first boss fight you'll have to do, who I will say is quite easy is a mimic he mimics exactly what you're doing what you're wearing what you're using so if i were you guys take off all your armor take off all that armor then go into the fight and you are good kick his ass i i battered him to be honest i didn't take off none of my armor i used my sword and battered him actually i might have used i may use my comet as a i may use my comet as a well i can't remember i can't remember either way once you defeat him you'll get a grace point Right here. Okay, this one. <laughs> this side. So you get a grace point right there. And then, guys, you just want to come up this way. Now you can pull out your horse from here, which is cool. Which is cool. And you just want to run. You just want to run. But yeah, the next boss. Pain. I don't know why they needed to add two. One of them was enough. One of them was enough, people. Two is overkill. And they are hard. Well, they were for me. You probably didn't struggle at all. I know some beasts at this game out there. But for me, I struggled, man. Cut the onion, though. Okay, so you just want to follow this path. Ignore this, all the enemies. Ignore all the enemies. Ignore Adele. And you want to come this way. Let's follow this way. You want to go behind these and look for the jellyfish. Look for those jellyfish. You'll see them sparkling in a second. There we go. Run past them. Keep running and you'll come to two more on the edge of a cliff. So you want to be careful here, guys. You want to jump down this way. There we go. And run through here. There should be another grace in here for you as well. Which is the main grace to come back to the... Uh, there it is, the Twin Gargoyle bosses. Then guys, we want to jump onto this, just like so. And then jump down here, just like that. From here guys, we go this way. That guy I haven't fought yet, but he's got a pretty weapon. I may just have to go and get him, you know what I mean? I may just have to go and get him. Then guys, we go this way, just like so. go through here and it's to your left up these uh these steps now this is this will be the gargoyle boss twin gargoyle bosses so you have to take these out to do this you have to so yeah it's going to be a lot of people struggling on these i can guarantee it but once you do take them out guys you have to run straight to the back 
where you'll find another uh, grace point, which is right there. So once you've activated that grace point, you need to then come to this tomb, this coffin. So once in here, you'll get a cutscene, which you want to skip. Well, you don't have to skip it if you don't want to, but I'm going to skip it because I've seen it a ton of times. And when it eventually loads up, uh, there's a grace point right there, just to your left as you spawn in here. So you want to activate that, people, 100%. Then you want to jump on your horse and follow this path. So go this way. Uh, there's this tree here you will have to jump up onto, so you want to be careful. And you're going across the platform because you will fall to your death if you're not careful. So come this way here. And then you want to jump down onto this one right here. Now up ahead there's a swarm of wasps whatever you want to call these, stay behind them if I were you. Just stay so they don't see you, they don't face you because you do not want them terrifying looking things chasing you. Well, I don't anyway, you can be risky if you want. Now, once you get here, you just want to turn right, but you do actually want to stay, turn right here, but you want to stay as far left as you can because you want to be in this like white pool of water, but you want the cliff side or the waterfall side right on your left because there's so many ads in that in that bushes uh, so stay here this guy above us in front of us so will try and take you out with his magic and he does hit hard so yeah be careful of him jump over here jump up onto this roof go this way ignore that dude jump up here and run this way and then guys you want to follow this path i'm going ignore all these dudes keep coming this way and they will try and get you. If you stand still for too long, they'll kick your ass. So from here, guys, you want to jump. I'm going to jump off my horse because I ain't that confident. If it lets me. There we go. Finally. So you want to jump up onto this. But not get burned like that. He does hit hard. And then you want to run up here. Run up here. I only got hit then because my heart. I couldn't get off my horse for some weird ass reason. Okay, and then you just want to jump down here. And activate the grace guys and there you have it that is basically how you do this farm and once you are here like i said you can use any weapon you like a uh, range weapon i think range weapons are probably the best uh, so you could arrange attack him uh, as i'm going to showcase to you or you could do it from up there it doesn't really matter to be honest okay so he's dead pull out your horse jump up here I'm going to use my sword on this dude. I'm going to chop his ass up. Well, I'm not going to use that. I don't know why I did it with my torch. I ain't quite efficient at it, as you can see, but you're going to be way more efficient than me. Don't worry about that. Killed him. Killed him. Jump onto there. Jump onto there. Run up here. And again, you can use your melee weapon. You can use your long range weapon. Go behind him. Kick his ass. Then jump back onto that branch, guys. Just like so. Run around here. Jump down. Sit down. Stand up. Everything's reset. And you've got those runes. Simple as that, guys. And there we have it for another video. And I hope it helped you out. If it does, leave a like. It really helps me out. If you're new around here and want to see more Elden Ring, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, people, I'll see you on that next one.